Hello there. Um, so there's been a few requests to um, learn more about the patient file and uh, to make the most out of it. So I'm going to try and make a start with that. It's quite a um, there's a lot of depth to it. So um, you know, give yourself some time to get used to it, and um, you know, just use the simple things first and get used to that. So the way that we go about creating a patient, um, if you do to the drop down arrow next to the patient icon and choose create a new patient, you'll see that it will give you the key command as well, which is much faster. So um, on, a, on a Mac, it's command N, on a PC, control N. Create new patient. So you can say whether it's human or a veterinary case. Now the first thing to do is to choose whether you want to go to consultation first or administrative. Now really, every time you'd prefer to go to administrative so you can enter their name, but what might happen is that you're in a rush and therefore it gives you the option to go straight to consultation. So there we are, we enter into the administrative information and here we can enter the patient name. And you can enter all the other details as well. So, for example, um, and here you can put where they were born, the country. If you start typing, it will come up. And then you can put in their address. So, and you know, fill in the rest of the regions there. You'll see where there's a um, drop down arrow. That means that there's um, you can open like a list of different options. Okay, so that's the first stage done there. You could add some notes if you wanted to. Um, and then you just click on this disk icon to save. And you'll see we've got demonstration example one there. All right. Here you can add other details if you wish, such as profession, marital status, children, lots of other options here. Okay. And this one here is where you can create invoices. The little plus sign there shows that you can create an invoice with a letterhead, etc. Okay, and you can import the details here. So the address would come in if you'd filled it in more um, in more detail. <clears throat> okay, and then whenever you want to save, just click on the disk icon. So then we go into the consultation field itself. <clears throat> All right, so we can start adding in the um, symptoms of the patient. Okay, and when you press tab, the um, consultation text adds a new line. Now the reason for that will become clear later. So let me just add in a couple of symptoms. Okay, so we could say, um, having given each symptom its own line, um, we can say which symptoms we want to make more important or which have more intensity for the patient. So these 
gradings, these numbers here are like the gradings in the repertory. Okay. So other things you can do from within the patient file are um, you can attach files. So you could attach an image or, or a recording you've made of the session or a video, um, a PDF, you know, if you're using another application to um, do like maps and models, that kind of thing, you could all, um, they could all be added here. And you could add a Word file if you'd taken a questionnaire from the patient. So that could all be centralized into this location. So again, you just click on the disk icon and you save. So um, let's say the relationship issue was a theme of the case kept coming up. Um, this column here um, gives you options to add um, sort of tags to symptoms. So big long list, have a look at it, see what's in there. But you know, if you've learned what's there, you can type it and then just press enter. Um, you know, let's put in here for example so then you could also put in here um, open up the options and put in family anamnesis yeah so you create tags for the um, symptoms and then what you can do is let's you know quite often you'd have a lot more in the consultation text so you can right click and you can limit to the symptoms tagged as the and that's a very useful way to sort of get out of the mass of data that you might have and just get back to the things that you've tagged as being important and then to, to get back to where you were you right click again and you just untick that option <clears throat> the other nice thing that you can do right click on the sex and you can sort the symptoms by the intensity so the stronger symptoms come at the top of the consultation. Um, this is a feature that you get in the pro version of the program, by the way. Okay, so right click and deselect. As always in any software, if you right click or control click for Mac users, um, or any part of the program, usually you'll get what's called a context menu and that will give you more options. Okay, so we would next be wanting to <clears throat> add some symptoms from the repertory. So we can go to synthesis and it's actually sleep. So let's put that in first. So once you're in the chapter that you want, you can just start typing to get to the rubric that you want. And then you can press the equals key to add to the clipboard see now with the number one and then you can go back to your patient file and see what else is there so there's headaches and the um, spontaneous crying so um, we can use the binoculars this time it's a mind weeping causeless so there's the smaller one there but we might want to take the larger rubric as well and perhaps this one and then there's a shortcut to move between the patient file and the uh, repertory so if you hold down the alt key and press 3 you'll go to the patient file alt 1 to the repertory Alt 2 would take you to Materia Medica, which we don't have open at the moment. Or you can just select between the two tabs. And then we might want to add that there's this constricting pane. Okay, so F2, same as opening the binoculars. Add <coughs> constriction. <coughs> and then the equals key. Okay, so now we go back to the patient file and we hit the disk icon again. We save the changes. Now we can go into our clipboard and have a look at what's there. 
So these two symptoms I'm going to group. So you select one, hold down the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC, click on the next one, right click, combine, and just give them a letter to combine them and then group. Okay. So we would look through our symptoms here and see with this constriction and the heart problems that cactus could be an interesting remedy. Okay. And then once we've decided on that, we can go back to our patient file <clears throat> and here we could enter the prescription. So you just start typing and if you know the abbreviation, you can, you can, you know, so that it predicts what you're typing. <clears throat> Potency, again, you can click on the drop down to see all the options, or you can just start typing. <clears throat> um, the shortcut for this um, drop down menu, by the way, is F9. And then you can give the scale the posology, single dose, and the laboratory, F9, or press on the little triangle, and Helios. <coughs> okay, so that's how you enter the prescription details. And this should, um, you know, disappear now. There we go. Or you can make it, if you click on the little pin, you can make it stay there if you want to see that all the time. All right, so now what we can do, um, we've given the remedy, the patient's gone, we can, <clears throat> you see this disc icon is gray now, so it means that it's saved. I can clear the clipboard by right clicking, clear, and then I can close the patient file. So when they return for their follow-up, I can click back to the the correct patient here to open their case. You can choose to open the analysis as well. <clears throat> there it is. Okay, and then we want to create a new consultation. So back to the patient file and create a new consultation. Okay, so I've just cleared the clipboard there with the command, um, which is command shift N or control shift N if you're on a PC. Okay, so, that's, so we're starting with a clean slate. If you want to see the previous consultation, you just click on it here so you can see what was written. And I might just click on that pin there to get rid of the information there to get a bit more space. <clears throat> All right, so they've come back and we're going to take the case and see what's changed. So, Okay, so coffee egg, egg. breeding ameliorates and um, standing egg rates. Okay, so <clears throat> it seems that the remedy has done some good, um, but we just want to check whether these new modalities to the headache. Are, um, fitting with the remedy. So we could go back to synthesis or even if you have it here in your table of contents sometimes it's quicker just to click on the chapter that you want to go to and start typing enter the next subrubric and we can quickly add these symptoms so coffee aggravates. You can take from this 
as well. So you can take with intensity two there. Then go back with the back key. Wine aggravates. Take with intensity one. And what else did we say? Standing aggravates. I'm going to drag that one. And then <clears throat> breathing deep, desire to breathe deeply. Or is it ameliorates? Let's put them both in. Okay, then we can just cancel and go to our clipboard. And we can see that cactus is covered again by the new generalities that we have. So back to the patient file and we can click on the disk icon and that now saves the analysis to this second consultation. Okay, so what we can do is enter again here the prescription. So we're going to repeat same potency uh, F9 opens the list there and we're going to still give a single dose again and we're still using Helios okay all right so all that information has been entered and then it's all good it's been saved because the disk icon is uh, grayed out and then what if you would like to do in terms of now you can see all the consultations with their analyses you click on the calendar icon so you can see consultation number one the, with the prescription the symptoms which come up there to show you what were the original symptoms and now the symptoms for consultation number two with the prescription there okay so if we double click we'll go to that part in the consultation text if you want to get rid of that one you just click on it to show or hide same with this then we go to consultation number one okay so another thing that you can do is to evaluate how this how the um, prescription has worked so let's evaluate from the first uh, consultation you can say what the patient has said so major improvement let's be positive both by the homeopath will be a li little bit more um, conservative there general state uh, again that's anyway so you can add all of these details if you like to go into a lot of detail and then click on the disk icon so let's do a quick recap um, the calendar shows you all of your consultations consultation number one two if we now um, said right let's clear this clipboard close the patient when they next come back we can click on the patient list find by typing their name click here and you can recall the latest analyses to have a look and then you can go back to the patient file you can create a new consultation and then if you want to see the last one there's number two or you can go back to number one okay we could give these some intensity if we wanted and then we can keep going and if you ever want to check what's happening you go to this calendar icon and you can see all the different consultations you've had okay i think that's it for today thank you bye